so we have this problem where 3 to the t represents the size of a tumor in cubic millimeters, where t is the number of months since the tumor was discovered. And the first thing it asks us to find is to find the total change. So the total change in the first two months. So the total change would be the total growth or the total size. So the first two months would be from zero to two, or as we always say when we're on a graph, if we're going from zero to two, how do you find that distance? Two minus zero. So in other words, S of two minus S of zero. And so I just simply plug those values in. So I plug in three, where I see a T, I plug in a two, where I see a T, I plug in a zero. Remember anything to the zero power equals one. And thus the total change in the first two months, because this is my function, would be eight cubic millimeters. All right, then it asks for you to find the average rate of change. Well, remember the average rate of change is gonna be the change in y, but in this case, my y is s, the size of the tumor, over the change in time, which is months. So it might be nice to actually write cubic millimeters per month, because that way I know how my units will be. And so, if, and it says to do this once again for the first two months. So to find the average rate of change the first two months. Well, as you can kind of see, it walked you through the first step. This is the numerator. So if I write that, that's my S of two minus S of zero. And then the denominator is the change in time the first two months, which would be two minus zero. So we already found this, which would be eight, and then divided by two, and we get our four cubic millimeters per month. All right, then it says estimate the rate at which the tumor is growing at exactly two months. This is where you're getting into the close that gap off the H. Okay, so at exactly, two months would mean that I need two plus a little distance. So in other words, I can't get exactly two, but I could put that gap, make it as small as I wanted, okay, to get it smaller. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick 2.001 and then two. And then of course the H is 001. So you might say, well, where'd you get that number from? That's just something really, really close to two. You could put 2.01. You could put 2.00000000001. I just need something very, very close to two, okay? So doing so then is I plug all this back in. Make sure I stay on the screen. So I'm gonna get three to the 2.001 minus three squared getting low, 0 0.001. And if you do that, you should get about 9.89 or 9.9. .9. And once again, oops, millimeters, cubic millimeters per month. So all this step is doing here is saying, what if I don't want from the first two months, I want it exactly month two. So this is getting into your instantaneous rate of change. If you let this value get smaller and smaller and smaller, you will see eventually that this hits a limiting value. It's just on the homework, it asks you to round to one decimal place. All right, and so that's this one.